GG Cubing, and today we're going to talk about PLL. So here's my list of PLLs. The algs will be in the description and you can follow along um, as I'm executing them in the video. So let's jump right into it. I have my PLLs in front of me because last time I filmed this, I forgot the Y perm. Face palm. Well, anyways, let's get started. So for the corner algs, there's, oh, and I also forgot the E perm. <laughs> so we have A, B, A, B perm, and the E perm. So for the A perm that goes clockwise, I will execute like this. Alright, again, or, um, oops, and then again. Cool. So for the other A perm, um, I see the headlights here, and I see the dot here, or the opposite here. I execute like this. Or what I will do is I'll do it on the I'll do the A perm with the uh, the first one, but on the left side. I tend to do that one more because I um I can do lefty algs as easily as I can right al righty algs. E perm um, with the X prime like that. I hate the E perm. It sucks. I got my first DNF ever in competition with my E-perm. It sucked. I actually got both DNFs I've ever gotten off of an E-perm, so I hate the E-perm. It would have been my first sub-20 average, but no, I got 20.2 because of that stupid E-perm. Alright, so for the U-perms, um, or the EPLLs, let's start with U-perms. For the, um, the counterclockwise one, I guess. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I go, and then, for the other one, I just do the inverse. Alright, for the H perm, I basically use the H perm that everybody uses, which is, I can pretty easily sub one it, um, let's see if I can. Um, there we go. So then the Z perm uh, looks like this. And yes, by the way, I do use both of my rings. Uh, and then you can do a U2 at the end if you want. Oops. Um, Alright, for the J perms. So the JA perm, uh, now we switch like that. You could do a lefty JB perm, but I just use this because I base my N perms off of the J perms. Then for the other one, it's based off of the T perm. Favorite algorithm. Because I execute with my thumb like this. So you're basically pinching this corner. Alright, it's T perm right here. I like the T perm. Pretty easy. Alright, uh, R perm. So this one, where you switch this one, and this, this is the uh, RB perm, by the way. That moment when you mess up your R perm, you be like, that kind of sucked. Um, but for the R perm, alright, alright, and then for the other R perm, uh, that swaps, I use it so it swaps these and these. Uh, I don't do the lefty version, which I could, I do that for OH, but. Low. All right. So uh, our the uh, yeah. So for the F perm, 
based off of a T-perm setup move, starting the T-perm, undo setup move. I like this alg. Uh, the G-perms. So, um, here's what I do for the GA. Rotate. Alright, for GB. Like that, GC. Alg's in the description. Please follow along. And then for this one, you can either insert or insert like that. Um, so GD is my favorite G perm. Take the pair out, cycle it, R2. Alright, for the V perm. So the V perm, it's a little bit different than the Bob Burton website, but they use this. But I do it like this. I do a rotation. It, I find it a bit easier to execute rather than I pause too much during the D prime or the DW prime but that's okay now we have N perms and the Y perm so the N perm the first one or the NA perm looks like this or um I believe yeah J perm so again slow though Then the other J perm, I rotate with a, a Z. And then here's what I do. Um, all right, ready? All right, again. So for that one, it's basically a disc. but rotated. Alright, and last but not least, the Y perm. I like this out. So if you're having trouble learning the Y perm, by the way, break the T perm up into two parts. So you have the sexy move sledgehammer, and then you have the second part of it, which does the T perm. And if you reverse these two parts, you will get the Y perm. But that ended up in the J perm. So, yeah, guys, those are my PLLs. Uh, they're mainly based off of Bob Burton's website, qwiz.com. But um, some of them are derived from the speed solving wiki. So, I will see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.